Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Transport Fever 2. This is the Stepford map. Now last time around we added a uh, a intercity line between Frostbite Falls with the airport and San Angeles. Now I'm going to complete the line uh, for the valley from Mayberry uh, up into El Dorado and possibly on into Dog River. Uh, I'm not sure. I think I'm probably going to have, uh, I think I'm, hmm. Yeah, as I probably want to get a line up into, uh, the Lilliput Springfield Valley here as well. Uh, and I think that might work best. Well, that might work better with a, uh, transfer station in the middle of nowhere it might i'm not sure i'm gonna have to think about that but anyway uh we definitely want to get a uh, a train station here in mayberry and then we need to come around and uh, come into the platforms here and then we'll come around and probably uh, put the train station in el dorado here uh so I'm going to put the train station in Mayberry over in the middle of town, actually, because then we can just sneak under this bridge. Okay, well, let's pause things. I'm going to have to demolish a bunch of stuff. Right, okay, so we're going, uh, no, we're not going to demolish the town. We're going to demolish the roads, right? Okay, now we need to uh, to chuck in a uh, train station. It's only going to need one platform. Yeah, I know. And it's going. Oh, it's going to be. We can make it a terminus, actually. No, we'll make it a uh, regular through one because then we can have the uh, station building in the middle. Yeah. We, we. Oh, we can do that anyway. We'll make it a terminus. Uh, yeah, that'll give us better coverage, actually. So if we do this, uh, okay, we can do this, right? Okay, if we do that, oh, oh, that actually could be good. Um, that could actually be really good. Because then we can, uh, we should be able to get roads over it. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that. Okay, now, um, yeah, how am I going to do this? Well, first of all, I'm going to see if I can actually uh, fly a road over here. Ooh, can. Ooh, no pillars. I'm going to take that one. Yeah. Okay. So uh, our town is not going to be disconnected. Can we get this one over? Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, we'll do a bridge there too then. And yeah, we'll be able to do a bridge here too. Yep. Good. So the town won't be disconnected now. Uh, but what I do kind of uh, want to do is uh, get a, uh, a misc here. Here maybe. Yeah. Now let's see if I can uh, get a... Uh, get something up here that connects. I can. Ooh, nice. Okay. Now, uh, you know, I do wish there was footpaths, but if I make that non, uh, uh, if I lock that, it should keep everything. And that covers more of the town sim by simply doing that. No, it's not ideal, but uh, 
it covers more of the town. So I think uh, I'll live with it. Now, uh, we need to uh, chuck also, well, we don't need to chuck a station there. We already have it. So we need to chuck down some tracks, right? So we'll grab a track here and we'll come out and let's see if we can, ooh, nice. We can make it all the way. Uh, we can make it without issues. Okay, well, I'm going to take that. And then I'm going to back this up a bit. Right. Uh, and put that above ground. Right. I'm going to do the same over here. I'll back that up at least that far. And uh, put this above ground. Yeah. Yeah, definitely doing that. Um, right. Now, we need to also double this. So I'll do that. That's why I put it above ground. Now, we're going to have to live with the tunnel because we have to go through the hill here. But that's fine. I was expecting a tunnel here. So I just wasn't expecting the slope of the ground here uh, like this. But that works nicely because it allows Mayberry to, to stay connected, even though the station is in the middle of the town. Uh, so that was kind of kind of lucky. Now we're going to need a station here in El Dorado. And I think it's going to have to be uh, over around here. So we'll grab the, uh, the station. It's going to need it's going to need two platforms at least. Because it's either going to be a through through station to a terminus somewhere, or it's going to be a hub uh, connecting onward to at least uh, one other place. Okay. Well, in that case, we'll wang this around like this. That angle looks like it's probably eh, it's probably acceptable. But let's drop it into the ground just a little bit. There we go. Uh, this is going to be El Dorado. I didn't check the other one, but it probably got a proper name. Right. Okay. Now, what we can do is we can grab a road. Why are you putting fat roads in front of all the stations? Well, because. Because. That's a... Uh, that's a a valid reason to do things is it isn't it well i suppose it might be um okay you've done that okay you've connected that good now you need to bring another road up there somewhere uh yeah i kind of do which one well, this one for sure. Um, yeah. Actually, that should be fine. Um, right. And then we'll bring this one out about here. And then do this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, why are you building another road? Uh, well, because it just occurred to me that I maybe could. It occurred to you that you maybe could. Yeah, exactly. Okay, now we definitely need... Uh, okay, we can actually start this moving again. Uh, we're going to go in here, and we're going to turn off these lights. Right, okay, good. Now, we're going to need a, uh, a, a local uh, connector here. Uh, and that is going to be here, here, and here. Is it now? Yep, yeah, it definitely is. So where are you going to chuck the uh, thing? Well, I'm going to chuck the uh, thing uh, over here. Mm 
No, I'm going to check it over here. Yeah. So that's the uh, thing, huh? Yeah, it's otherwise known as a, uh, a depot. Ah. Uh, now you're going to wang the uh, tram tracks on that, right? Of course. Right. Uh, you know, this one isn't a straight... Um, uh, thing this time, right? Yeah, yeah, I do know that. Uh, that was uh, sort of intentional. Uh, now, you're going to put those same two trams on this one too, aren't you? Well, yeah, of course. Um, it seems to work so well. So we'll go here, here, here. And back here. And we're in where? We're in El Dorado. So this is passenger tram, El Dorado, Crosstown, I suppose. Okay, so we're doing that now. Now we need to get a track across there. I suspect this will be relatively straightforward. And yeah, it is. Uh, we'll do a cut here. We'll do a cut here. Yeah, that's good, going to be uh, pretty straightforward, so we'll just do that. Right. Good. Well, that's got that. Now, you're going to need one of these over here. Yep. You're also going to need uh, signals on here. Uh, so, so I'll put one here. Yeah. Uh, put one in the middle ish put a pair of them over here yeah oh better idea uh, I'm gonna need one of these and this will be a double slip yeah okay good right um, that's tolerable I think so this is gonna need one here one here and we'll put one here right and I guess we'll need one in the middle here yeah about here and we'll need one at the end right okay now what we could do is uh, fling a train at this uh, yeah that does seem like a thing we could do doesn't it yeah uh, and, and we're gonna do that uh, definitely gonna do that but first, we're going to get out the smoothing gun and make this look less bad. You know, you, you could do this a little easier if you weren't in the orbital bombardment view. Yeah, I suppose I could. Um, maybe if the brush was smaller. You know what? That's good enough. Now it doesn't look egregious. Okay, where are we going to get a train? Well, we're going to chuck in another depot is what we're going to do. And where are we going to chuck it in? Um, That's a good question. That is a good question. Well, buildings, depot. Can we uh, edge one in here? Ooh, we can. Well, I kind of like that. Good. We've got a depot there. Well, that looks kind of impressive. Now, uh, now you do, of course, need to plumb that into the tracks. Yeah. Yeah, I know I do. Uh, you know, kind of like that. Um, you don't need a signal on that. No, but I put one anyway. Okay. Now we need to obtain a train. Uh, now here, does the 450 commuter train have anything exciting going for it? Loading speed 12 times. Uh, so it loads decently. Uh, it carries 99. It's... Uh, It's 99 meters. 
You know, it's different. Let's fling one of those at the map. New line. Okay. We'll go here. 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 Um, yeah. Okay. And that's going to be intercity rail. And that's going to be the San Angeles Valley commuter. Yeah. Okay. And this we're going to rename to Mayberry. Right. Good. Yes. Now, what are we going to do? We're going to find the train. Uh, that looks okay. Now we're just going to ride this line and uh, just observe it a little bit. This went in way too easy. So let's just observe how horrible it is or something. So we're uh, ticking along here. Yeah, I think this train will be okay for the valley here. And I think I might treat um, El Dorado, is it, as a hub uh, with a couple of point-to-point -point long hauls. Uh, that might be the way to go. Uh, I have some a point-to-point -point long haul triangle there uh, between the valleys. That that might actually make sense. We'll, we'll, we'll survey that out a little bit after uh, after we ride the train all the way back to Mayberry. You know. Um, I could, pr this could probably do with a little bit of, uh, a smoothing gun, but th that berm there actually is kind of cool. It's like a sound berm or something. Right. Good. We're here. We're not picking anybody up because we don't have anybody at the station. Now we can, uh, wander back the other way. Now, there shouldn't be any kinks in the track that really slow anything down here, so this should be a reasonably efficient ride. Modulo all the trees. Oh, um, by the time you're, uh, you're seeing this episode, uh, there should be a beta version out with, uh, with an updated uh, graphics driver. Uh, they've been working on a Mac version of the game for a while, Apple pulled the rug out from under them in the fall by uh, ending support for some API or other. So they, they've they been uh, building a new uh, graphics driver uh, for the Mac version, I assume, uh, using uh, a Vulkan or something like that. Uh, and they've uh, been working on updates for Linux and Windows also using Vulkan. So... Uh, there should be uh, there, there should be a beta version out. Uh, they announced that they'd be releasing the beta version on the 15th of December, uh, which should be a couple days ago by the time you're seeing this. Uh, so uh, that uh, that could be uh, that could be interesting. We could have some uh, some improved uh, performance or improved on, uh, improvements on the glitchiness and the graphics maybe. Uh, that would be uh, kind of nice. I'm not going to hold my breath on anything. And I assume there will be uh, the usual raft of bug fixes and, and so on uh, that goes in as well as part of the effort. Is it, you know, there's no reason not to fix the odd bug. Um, but it is going to be a beta version. So uh, I'm probably not going to switch the this game, this map at least, over to that version. Uh, just so that I don't end up in a situation where the beta version updates and I can't uh, play the map, right? That would be annoying. Uh, so uh, I'll probably hold off on that. I'll load the map up and see if it performs any better, uh, for sure. Uh, but, uh, yeah. But I'm recording this before the beta release is even out, so... So, yeah, it's, uh, it's coming. Uh, it's finally coming. They finally have something they can show us. So hopefully, it's a uh, improvement. Uh, 
at, at the very least, it probably simplifies their development because then they'll, they should have just the one uh, graphics API they have to deal with. That uh, just looks egregious, doesn't it? That uh, walkway up there. Yeah, not much I can do about it, though. Until we have paths that can have a steeper gradient, uh, we can't really do anything useful there. Um, anyway, we're at Mayberry. Uh, yeah, okay. So, there we are. Uh, this looks like it's going to work out okay. Right? Okay, we'll close that out. Now, I was uh, saying, uh, I'm thinking what we want to do is make some sort of a, uh, a, com a, a connector triangle thing here. So we get a point-to-point -point over to Springfield, uh, which can connect over up to uh, Townville. Uh, what is that? Townsville. And maybe on into this area, right? Uh, and we can get another point-to-point -point line up coming up to Bedrock. Or maybe uh, Dog River. Uh, but probably Bedrock. And then we can possibly run one between Springfield and Bedrock as well. Uh, and that uh, gives us a, a sort of hub point in the middle here to connect different uh, areas. Uh, and that uh, that might be uh, that might actually be the thing to do. Uh, I'm not sure though. Uh, it, it might make more sense to just punch uh, punch this one through to bedrock, like I'd originally thought of doing. Yeah, I might just do that. So if I punch this through, I can come in through this uh, pass, and I should be able to get in. And at least drop a station over here. Uh, yeah, because I won't be coming around to uh, the main state. Actually, I might be able to. I might actually be able to. Uh, without things going too uh, terrible. But we're getting rid of this thing. Because that's just dumb. Uh, right, we're going to put one of these straight like this. Yeah, that looks less dumb. Now, uh, I could put a platform along here. And, uh, oh, yeah, that could work. I could put a platform along here and uh, bring it out. And uh, I could be, I could get, oh. Oh, I like it. I like it. Okay. We have a plan. Now, what am I going to do? I'm going to look at this. Configure it. Now, one, two, three. We want to back up to about there, I think. Is it? No. Uh, no, I want to back up this as well. I'm going to back that up. Now, I'm going to put uh, one, two, three, four. Now, passenger building. Main. Put it there. Yeah, okay. I think we can we can uh, do it that way. Uh, now, now that gives me a hundred and sixty meter platform, uh, which is probably long enough. So uh, I will. No, I'm going to see if I can get a longer platform in there, not without editing this track. Yeah, I'll uh, do that later if it makes sense. Okay, so. Uh, train, right? So we come out here uh, kind of on an angle like this, right? And then we can come, whoops, we can come around here, uh, right? 
so if we grab this, uh, we can come around here, right? Yeah. And then we can come around here. Right, that's not terrible. Uh, okay, then we should be able to get around. Aha, we can. We can get into the pass. Okay, good. That allows us to get into the pass. Now we just need to come up the pass. Well, uh, we could do something like this. Uh, and then something like this. Yeah. And then we could even do something like this. Yeah. And even continue up like, I don't know, this. Yeah, that could work. Now, we need to get up further. Well, we'll do this. And now, I think we're going to need to do the, uh, the tunnel thing. Yeah, we're definitely going to need to do the tunnel thing. Can we get all... Ah, uh, yeah, we can get all the way up. Okay. Well, we'll come up to here. Yeah. Yeah, if we do that, we should be okay. Now, if we do this... Now, we can do this. No, we can't. Um, okay. Uh, well, uh, we'll come out of here and we'll go... We'll go maximum down bubble here. Yeah. Uh, now, how far before we can... Well, we'll have to take this out. Yeah. Okay, now... If we come through here, maximum down bubble. Maximum down bubble. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now, we've done maximum down bubble there. Now, will that connect? Too much slope. Okay. We need to... Uh, back that up. Okay. Now, can we get it to connect now? Yes. Okay, I think that's unavoidable to have the big tunnel there. Yeah, I think it is. Um, yeah, we'll just uh, live with the tunnel there. Okay, now we need to bring a... Uh, we need to bring it on the other side here, actually. Right, okay. So if we uh, grab this here, yeah. And then we grab this here. Yeah. We can come down on what? Oh. We're we'll have to rebuild that. Yeah. Means we can rebuild this too. Uh, right, okay. So if we do this, and we do this yeah we'll do that and we do this okay now we can grab a uh, road that one will do and do this well we can do cancel that we can do this like that yep and then this okay so that gets that over there uh, now uh, we can come along through here and uh, build the rest of the uh, connection here. Right. Now, this is why we came out on this side, so we didn't have to deal with that road. So, um, yeah, we're, uh, we're continuing uh, along here, and we should be able to squeeze this around here. Yeah, I think this will uh, this will work out okay. Um, now the question is, does it fit through? No, it doesn't. But I can bring it up to here, and I can do. Uh, wait, what? We can do. Uh, 
this far. Okay. No, actually what we can do is we can uh, merge it further back. Then if we put longer trains on here, we won't have uh, a switch in the way. Yeah, okay. So this is what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to put the, uh, the light signal thingies here. Uh, around here. And then uh, around here. Maybe around here. Uh, we'll edit the line and then we'll fling a second train at this because we're definitely going to need two trains with this length. Uh, otherwise the frequency will be too low. Uh, okay, now here, like this, and like this. Now, get out the smoothing gun uh, and make this less egregious. That is now less egregious. That is even less egregious. Okay, now, if we come in here, uh, we can manage the line. And from El Dorado, we can add a station, which will be here. And then we can add El Dorado again. Yep. Good. Now, we can uh, grab this, manage vehicle, and we'll duplicate it. Actually, I'm going to put three of them on here. Now, uh, if we get on this one, what are you doing? No path electric. Okay, now it's going. Okay. Now we're going to uh, we're going to follow this uh, this new line all the way down to to uh, um, what you call it there, and uh, see what uh, yeah uh, El Dorado. Uh, uh, or, well, not El Dorado, uh, whatever it is down there in the uh, the other um, uh, valley. I've forgotten, right? So uh, we'll ride this through uh, El Dorado and then move on to the next uh, uh, bit of track and then we'll see what happens. Now we could get some uh, decent uh, passenger usage uh, on these lines here. Uh, because they connect uh, to multiple places. And as soon as I connect uh, over to the new New York area, uh, we should get a huge influx of, uh, of uh, passenger traffic, I think. Uh, and that uh, might even reduce some of the traffic. Um, that's uh, kind of what I'm uh, going for, by connecting all the cities up with rail and adding a few airports for longer haul stuff. I'm hoping that what we end up with is uh, destinations spread out more and more public transport usage. That's uh, kind of what I'm hoping for. Oh, look at that. We're going to take uh, 24 or so people, the 24 people, uh, on to Bedrock. That's what it's called, Bedrock. Uh, Okay, so we're heading on to Bedrock. So we've got uh, just a little bit here. Um, so we're going to uh, go under the road. Which I could actually just take out, I think. Uh, we could force the long haul transport to rail and... Uh, uh, I think uh, I think that would probably reduce the amount of private cars in the towns. That might be what I look into doing, actually, is uh, putting up barriers that the towns won't go through so that they can't uh, connect and then force the traffic to my uh, public transportation network. 
That might fix the traffic, actually. If they, if the, uh, the, uh, they can't get where they're going by private car, they don't have a choice. And then I can uh, possibly uh, sort out some of the worst uh, traffic offenses in a bunch of places. Yeah, it's a, it sounds counterintuitive. You know, taking out the roads uh, reduces traffic. <laughs> but it, it kind of does, because if the traffic doesn't have anywhere to be, it, uh, well, it can't exist, right? Uh, you can see that in real life, too. Uh, if you take out uh, roads in uh, strategic places, then uh, there's no opportunity to use the uh, private transport to get to a place, right? Uh, through that location. So, as a result, you end up with uh, less traffic uh, on the roads connecting to it. Uh, because there's no, there's less benefit to driving to a place if you can't get to the next place. And it will drive, it drives more uh, traffic to uh, other modes of transport. And that, uh, that's a major uh, factor, I think. But as soon as you start building roads, you end up with uh, uh, new opportunities for travel. And that will... And uh, there, so there can be latent demand, right? Which is now we can get to a place uh, by that mode of transport. So we'll use that mode of transport when we were doing something else before. Uh, and then there's induced demand, uh, which is uh, where there wouldn't have been a demand in the first place, but now you've made it convenient to get somewhere. Uh, people can uh, people start doing it. Okay, now we're coming up into bedrock here. Uh, so we, uh, uh, we're just coming into the new platform. And uh, yeah, I think overall this, uh, this should work out. You know, like it's not a bad, uh, bad line actually. Uh, although we've got a little bit of a performance issue going on here. Uh, right. Too much stuff on the map, I think. Uh, okay, now we're coming around into here. I'm going to jump out of this and just uh, look at it. Uh, you see, this is going to fit onto the platform just fine. Because it is a 160 meter platform. So we've got, uh, and this train is 99, I think it was. So it will, uh, it will fit in there nicely. There we go. Uh, okay, now we're going to take 34 back. So we're, we're, taking, uh, uh, we're taking passengers. So that's uh, going to make the valley line here uh, more attractive. Uh, it'll make this uh, connection here a little more attractive. And as you can see, we still have demand on the uh, tram here. Uh, we've got more passengers here. Uh, so I may need to add some more trains uh, to these lines. Um, but uh, we've got, so we've got this, um, this Frostbite Falls corner here. Uh, if I angle it this way. We've got this Frostbite Falls corner basically uh, uh, connected up now. Um uh, so uh, I think I'll just push across the map this way and get the bottom, as we're looking at it now, uh, connected up. So uh, move over from uh, uh, Bedrock here on into uh, Sunnydale, uh, Avonlea, Zion, uh, Florin, you know, get this stuff uh, into a network. Uh, and then get this corner stuff connected up somehow. Um, I think we're going to end up with some sort of a trunk system through here. Uh, yeah, I think it's going to be some sort of a trunk system from uh, uh, Florin up through there. Uh, the lay of the land is not the friendliest, right? So, you know, that's kind of why I went for this map, actually. So anyway... Uh, we've got another uh, connection through here. This is all connected up at both at two points. 
So uh, we're, we're going to start seeing network effects out here. And that's going to cause the towns to grow as well. So uh, that could be uh, problematic. Anyway, uh, that's going to be all for this episode. Uh, it was a little bit more than I was planning, but that first bit went way too easy. So I just thought, yeah, let's just do the other part of it. Uh, so now, uh, now the it's uh, well, we're done for now. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 what it is. We're done for now. Uh, so. Uh, I guess I'll just uh, ha just do the usual, uh, you know, stay healthy. Don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much. Although there might be a light at the end of the tunnel now. And see you back next time.